Thanks for checking out this movie review video. So this is for the 2019 film, The Amusement Park. Uh, yes, the George A. Romero lost film, The Amusement Park. Uh, it's a Shudder exclusive, and it's coming to Shudder on Tuesday, June 8th. Now, I'm putting this review out ahead of time, uh, and for that reason, and especially because it's a newer film, well, newly released and coming to Shudder soon. No spoilers on this one, although I will tell you some of the thematic things, but you can't really spoil this film so much. I mean, I'm going to tell you what it is, basically, but you can't really spoil it too much because, I don't know, you, you'll you'll find out why. So anyway, like I said, this is the lost George A. Romero film, and in order to understand the film and know what you're getting into, which I feel like everyone should know what they're getting into with this film, uh, you need to know the backstory on it. So this film was actually filmed in 1973 initially, and it was unreleased because it was commissioned to be made by a Lutheran society. They approached George A. Romero and asked him to make a film about elder abuse, basically. Uh, so the film is a PSA, basically. Like, that's how it plays. That's how it was filmed. It's a PSA. And much like PSAs, especially PSAs from that time frame, and actually they've been going on for decades at that point, uh, it's it's kind of corny, it's kind of over the top, uh, they tell you about what the message is basically, there's an intro and outro to do that honestly, uh, and like I said, it's about elder abuse basically. Now that said, I think Romero handled it well for what he was commissioned to do. The problem is this was never uh, released really, and it became like a lost film, just because the, the Lutheran Society, when they got his finished product, was like, oh, yeah, that's not what we meant, because he does take it to, like, a horror place, and, you know, people like you and I are like, okay, good, awesome, that's wonderful, um, and for that reason, there is some entertainment value in there, it's not just a very dull, uh, terrible PSA, it's George A. Romero PSA, and you can tell that because of the horror elements. Uh, it does have this kind of like frantic, chaotic feel to it. It does go kind of fast um, and feels like it's picking up steam the whole time. And it plays a bit like a nightmare, especially from the perspective of uh, what they're showing, which is the elderly in America in particular, and basically how the elderly in America aren't appreciated and how they're treated as you know, any person, every person becomes elderly unless they die young. I mean, we will all be there at some point, and they actually do make those points of, you know, remember, they specifically say this, remember, you will be old at some point, so treat elderly people better. But the way it was pulled off in the context of this amusement park is interesting. You know, I'm not going to go into details about it in case people want to watch it. Oh, and by the way, it is under an hour. It's like 53 minutes with credits, and with the outro and intro, so, I mean, it's worth watching at least once just to say you've seen it and just to see what George A. Romero did with a PSA, basically. I mean, for that reason, I think this is a must-watch, just so you can experience it once. I don't think it's something I would watch again for that reason, but it was interesting to watch one time, and there is some stuff I in there I laughed at because it's over the top, like a lot of the PSAs, of, it, of their time ended up being pretty over the top with a lot of stuff. So this has that as well, that over the top uh, element to it and everything. So it's there. Uh, and for that reason, it makes you laugh. Also, the acting isn't all that great. And that also makes you laugh. Uh, a lot of it's very, very... I, I can't tell if it was intentionally over the top or if it was just the bad acting that was making it over the top at times. But... Regardless, it's over the top and there's bad acting. So when those two things come together, it's kind of gold in a sense. So it is gold for those reasons. That said, you know it's a PSA. And for that reason, it does kind of, you know, it's it's doing the same thing over and over and over again. Because the whole point of the PSAs are to just keep hitting that one message repeatedly. And since it does that, like, it is a little boring from that standpoint. Because there really isn't a whole lot of story. But what story there is, it's kind of, you know, for, for the confines of what it is, it's cleverly done, I will say, especially for this time frame. They really do hit hard on all these aspects of 
how elder the elderly are not appreciated in in our society so um, I think it's it's good to watch from that standpoint as well because it really does remind you that yes this is how people are treated when they're elderly in the United States and we should be better you know we should definitely be better it was a problem back in the 70s when this was made it's a problem today you know there are a lot of cultures who revere the elderly and in the United States it's actually more like yeah we're done with you at this point, you know, you've outlived your usefulness. And there are a lot of examples that get rolled into this amusement park within this film. Um, I keep saying film, but it's not really a film. It's just a PSA, basically. And, um, you know, I, I really can't help but think that if George A. Romero were alive still, that he probably wouldn't want this released because it's not his best work you know like it's not i don't think it was intended to be seen by a large amount of people and the way we're seeing it on shutter as a streaming service now that said it was it was you know signed off on and worked on worked on with the george a romero foundation so they have every right to release it uh and they chose to so and there are people who will love this film just for that reason plus the fact that it's under an hour that's one of the most amazing things in my opinion we should get more films that are under an hour, honestly. Uh, I would argue that this one didn't even need to be as long as it was, just because it's just repeatedly hitting the, the point over and over and over again. There is kind of a cool thing that is done, though, where the way the film starts and the way the film ends kind of does like a full circle type thing, which is kind of cool and interesting, and I, I enjoyed that aspect of it. But I enjoyed it in general. I don't know if this is something I can actually give a star rating to like I normally do just because it's not intended to be a theatrical film it's not intended to be really a film at all it's just intended to be a PSA that he was commissioned to make for money you know and this was done actually after uh he d had done his film Martin and what's his name Lincoln Maisel Maisel uh is in this he does the intro and the outro of telling you basically in the intro telling you what you're going to see and why, and then in the outro kind of being like, so in summation, you know, this is what you should have taken from this, and remember to be nice to the elderly, and you'll be elder elderly at one point. So yeah, but, oh, I forgot to throw out there, Wally Cook is the person who wrote this. So this was only directed by George A. Romero. He didn't have anything to do with the writing, as far as I know, or as far as I found. So yeah, but once again, Tuesday, June 8th is when it's coming to Shudder. I'm pretty sure I hit everything. I just kind of just decided to to go off on a tangent, but I think it kind of worked out. I hit all the points I really wanted to. I'm very interested to find out what other people think about this because I know there probably are going to people be people out there who are just like, either they're like, I'm a Romero completist, so I really want to own this, or um, I actually really enjoyed it. It was fun. It was ridiculous, so I want to buy this, which I'm assuming they'll make if it's not already available on blu-ray or dvd i i assume that they will make it available because if you put a film out like this how are you not then going to try and make more money off it but um yeah i just want to know what people's people's feelings are on it but it's very important i feel like a lot of people are not going to know what's going on i i want people to know what they're getting into before they see it because Otherwise, I feel like there are going to be so many people who go in and like, yes, it's going to be like a of the dead type film. Uh, it's his long lost film because that the information of it basically being a PSA is not being thrown out there a whole lot. It seems kind of like trickery to me in a sense where they're just like, I will just fool people into watching this and not really tell them what what it is. Um, that sucks. I don't, I don't like that aspect of things, but Anyway, I uh, really want to hear people's opinions. Put it down there in the comments. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you meh about it? Is it a, I've seen it once and that's all I need to see? Or is it a, I'm going to watch this a few times because there's a lot of entertainment value. That's what I want to know. But my take on it is it's worth seeing once. I'm not going to see it past that. It's interesting. And it's especially interesting knowing that Romero did it. Uh, but like I said, I'm, I feel like if he was alive, he wouldn't want this released. I just really... I think he would be embarrassed about it, in, in, in my opinion. But, you know, I wouldn't be, personally. But anyway, oh, oh, I should comment on, I didn't say anything about wearing glasses in this. Yes, I actually have glasses, and this is the first time I've worn them on a, in a video. I felt like, you know what, I've been wearing them today a little bit more. I just turned 40, so I'm like, look, maybe I should start embracing getting older. 
uh, and uh, just wear these more often. So I was like, eh, it feels appropriate to wear it for this as I'm aging and this is about the elderly. So there you go. But do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button. If you are not a subscriber, please become one. Uh, literally takes you a second, totally, totally painless, costs you nothing. And uh, it keeps me motivated. Every time I see someone subscribing, it makes me uh, excited and keeps me going with making these videos. Also, hit the notification bell button because that way you'll know whenever I'm putting up new review videos like this or some of my more in-depth review videos or unboxings or any of that jazz. But regardless, I really do appreciate you taking your time to check this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.